Good morning. It is day Saturday, Sunday, day four. <laughs> I'm so confused. Day four here in Los Angeles. Uh, Dan and I are just finishing getting ready for the day. Today's Back to the Future day. Uh, we don't have a DeLorean, but we have a car that we're hiring um, after we've been for breakfast, and we are going to drive around the greater Los Angeles area to go and check out some of the filming locations or just the actual real life locations because they are just outside people's homes and stuff. Uh, but first, we are going for breakfast um, at a place called The Waffle which is a short drive down as Hill Valley High School. Dan's wearing his Hill Valley High School t-shirt that I got him for his 30th birthday. So Dan, I think we need to talk about what just happened. Yeah, so basically Trader Joe's just paid for our lunch. So um, we got there for store opening. Uh, went around, bought some things, bought some wraps, uh, various things and fruits and fruits. Um, and then they informed us that the entire register system had gone down and they were working on fixing it, but it could be, you know, 15 minutes. And then, who I assume was the manager, came over to us uh, and said, you know, bring your shopping over here, do, do you have cash or, or whatever? We said, possibly, we might have enough, we don't know. Um, they talked about it for a bit, scanned everything through, and then went, uh, yeah, right, it's on us, just take it. <laughs> so, said, thank you very much. <laughs> As Brits, we are... You know, we're fine with standing in queues if we have to wait for things, that's not a problem. Um, so we just stood there, we were like, yeah, that's fine, you know, we can wait, we can wait. And um, yeah, they just gave us our shopping for free. Thanks, Trader Joe's. So we've got vegan waffles and a side of vegan bacon. Slather from, uh, slathering from my, my waffle in vegan butter. <laughs> They don't do anything small here. Oh my god, they smell amazing. So it's not a it's not a DeLorean, but we've just picked up our hire car for the day. I think it will do 88 though. So. It goes to 88? <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be going 88. So we've got a little high day for the day. And uh, off we go to uh to Hill Valley. Oh yeah, the music has stopped because I'm using my phone. <laughs> <laughs> well, we were just listening to the Back to the Future musical soundtrack as we are currently heading to Whittier to go to the high school, also known as Hill Valley High School. Wow, they really cleaned this place up. It's brand new. <laughs> and actually, there are staff here, members here, actually, it's cleaning. a picking, so they actually are cleaning the place up. Amazing! It does look brand new too. It is, it's a beautiful building. So it this is, is uh, Wichier High School. Yep. And uh, this was used for the Hill Valley High in Back to the Future. Or the exterior scenes anyway. I think, no, I think, I don't know, I think they used like the interior of the school for like the hallway scenes and with the lockers and actually the back, uh, the Enchantment Under the Sea dance when they're actually filming Marty's interaction with Marvin Berry and the starlighters outside the back of the hall. That was all here at the school. Yeah, right. It's just the actual interior shots for the Enchantment Under the Sea dance were not filmed here at the high school. They were filmed somewhere else. Okay, that's it. Very cool place and I'm wearing the appropriate t-shirt. <laughs> I do wonder how many people come here and just, you know, take pictures and film and stuff. Yeah, I, I didn't feel comfortable filming outside the actual school friends. It's like that's a bit weird considering there are students here today. Yeah, we thought it was spring break, but... I mean, spring break I think is different, maybe different for different school districts. I guess it just depends, doesn't it? Yeah. I wonder if the uh, students here are all Back to the Future fans. <laughs> or if they're probably all, not. If they're, they're all sick of it. They're probably not, no. So, oh, some weirdos with cameras outside again. Oh no. <laughs> you feel the power Okay, so we're about to drive past Principal Strickland's house from Back to the Future Part 2. Next right, Dan. We're not going to stop because this is someone's house. Someone's house. But we'll just drive past it slowly. Okay, so it's this second house here on the left. So the blue, slow down. The blue one. That blue one there. Hey, 
Strickland. <laughs> Take blood, <that>, slackers. <laughs> okay. That's it. That's it. Hey, Strickland! He, he skates down a road first. And then they it comes probably to there and then yeah, and looks out over the bank. I don't think it was a particularly big bank, so it could be that one. So uh, yeah, we're <laughs> we're at the Twin Pines Mall, or should I say the Lone Pine Mall? Or uh, should we actually should say, say Puente Hills Mall? <laughs> Puente Hills Mall, uh, which is the mall and car park that was used in Back to the Future One. We'll just show you what we think is the hillside that he slides down. Um, which means the sign, they would have erected the sign probably just there. I don't know, do we, do we look too far over now? No, 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 because JC Penney's kind of on the side, isn't it? So. Yeah. So uh, that building over there next to the fitness place, yeah. the blank wall, that is where the JC Penney sign was. I mean, it's all changed so much over the years. Um, oh, yeah, look where he's kind of standing. I think it's slightly further over to the left. Well, I mean, that's where the camera was positioned. Yeah. And that's, that's the other thing. You only ever see this car park in the movie at night. And it's the middle of the day here. Yeah. So that whole, that whole chase sequence takes place just around this area of the car park. Supposedly somebody thinks there's some black strips of... Like tire marks. Tire marks. <laughs> when the DeLorean gets up to 88. I mean... I can't say that I want to go and in inspect the car park. There's quite a few cars parked here. I mean, I already feel awkward enough about being here as it is. Yeah, so this is where Marty um, comes down on your skateboard. I think that corner there is where he comes down. Um, however, we've just stood up here and uh, a lorry has um, blocked our view. <laughs> <laughs> it's parked right where we want to be. <laughs> it's just our luck, isn't it? Yep. Oh well. So we think Marty skateboards down that road, comes to this barrier. Which is where the Twin Pines Mall sign, sign would have been. And then kind of stands on that bank and, and looks out over there. Yep. And Doc and Brown's uh, Doc Brown's truck is over there. Is over there somewhere. That's not it. That's not Doc Brown. If that was Doc Brown's truck. That'd be great. It's not though. It's just <laughs> some truck. <laughs> Thanks, truck. Would like to see this place at night, but unfortunately, that's not going to work out because we've got to get the car back at uh, six, six o'clock. <laughs> and we have a dinner reservation this evening, so. Yeah. But so. you know, the fact that we are here, that we know that movie history took place. Yeah. Right here. Okay, I think we've loitered long enough at the mall. <laughs> yeah. Shall we Let's go, go um... to the mall. Actually, I need to use the restroom. Okay. Let's go to the restroom. Yeah. So our next stop is going to be a little bit of a drive. Yeah, we're going to go to Pasadena to go to George and Lorraine and Biff's home. Exciting. So it's just as well we did come into the mall to go to the toilet because uh, we just discovered the Twin Pines Mall sign <laughs> is actually here inside the mall. We don't know if it's the original from the film, it's probably not because they uh, erected this uh, replica for the anniversary. Yeah, um, I'm pretty outside. sure I saw that when it was the anniversary, yeah, they had. They had a sign up, so they probably just moved it, moved it inside. I don't know, we'll have to do some research. To find yeah, it, but still, that's pretty a, cool. A pleasant surprise on the way to the restroom. It's not lit up, but it does have the correct time on it. So, not the correct time, I mean the correct time from the film. Hey, Doc, we better back up. We don't have enough road to get up to 88. Roads? Well, we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> So the car that we've got today is a Hyundai uh, 
Kona. Um, it's got this function where the, if you kind of steer outside of the lane, the lines of the lanes on the road, it, it bibs at you. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna do justice, but we are surrounded by mountains on this drive. We've seen a few with snow capped as well. Yeah, it's amazing the scenery here. So we've just parked up, uh, we've driven to Pasadena and this is a road called Bushnell Avenue. Mm -hmm. This is, if you just look over here, let's just zoom in. This is George McFly's house from Back to the Future 1. <laughs> this actually does look exactly the same. Yeah. I don't think that's changed at all. No. That's so cool. We're just fanboying just a lot here. Loitering on someone's street. We wanted to stop and uh, eat something anyway, so. I don't know if to see if we can find a nice um, park here in. Want to find a park? Casadina. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. I it's don't actually know. It's getting quite warm in the car. I might have to turn the engine on and turn the aircon on. Mm. <laughs> I'm just not ready to ask Lorraine to the dance. And there's nothing that you or anyone on this planet can say to change my mind. I've probably horrendously misquoted uh, oh, yeah. George Air 3. Lovely around here. Lovely little piece of American suburbia. Well, that's <laughs> Further down this road is Lorraine's house and Biff's house. We think this is the uh, the tree opposite Lorraine's house. So this would be Lorraine's house? Yep, Lorraine's child. Yep, according to Google Maps, this is the tree. <laughs> He's a peeping Tom. <laughs> That's where he was, up there. It's got to be that branch, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the thing about trees, they don't change that much in 30 odd years. I don't really remember what they have to like yeah, the film, to be honest. Was that, was that the window then that he was looking through? Mm. Oh no, are we now peeping toms? Yeah. It was a lot cleaner back then. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's changed colour. We think we found Biff's grandma's yeah, house. Yeah, it's no. 1809. Yeah, no, you can see. Yeah. And obviously they erected the fences and everything around it for the film. So where was the, the garage was on the side, was it? Yeah. Is that still there? Yeah. They may not have even filmed no, because he drives his car in, doesn't he? And he brushes yeah, and then the... drives, drives out, and then down the street. <laughs> That's really cool. I told you, Grandma, I'm going to the dance. <laughs> Biff's house, of course, is only seen in Back to the Future 2. You don't, you don't ever see it in the first film. Going to the dance. Going to the dance. Uh, is that it then? This road, there's so three, yeah. three locations. Yeah. They're really close together. All right. Yeah. Walking distance. Like a stone's throw. Literally a stone's throw away. It's a really beautiful street. Yeah. You can see why they chose it. And the houses are all so different. So in a slight change of plans, we have come to a park in Pasadena to eat our lunch. Yeah. We um, we have lunch with us and can't really sit in the car on someone's road eating lunch and it's such a beautiful day yeah. so we were trying to get to a garden that I found but um, we took a wrong turn on route we've just found this cute little kind of neighborhood park so we're sitting on a bench which we just wiped down meticulously parked uh, up on the road just parked up and uh, yeah on a bench in the we're shade. just sitting on a picnic bench in the shade having lunch got views of the hills
This is the house of the Doc built. <laughs> no, this is Doc. This is Doc Brown's house, as featured in Back to the Future One and Back to the Future Three. I think. And that's uh, that's Doc's garage, which is now a bookstore. Yeah, so this is called the Gamble House. So what's that actually in there now? I don't know. I think have to look on the website it to find out. It's just like an historic building. We haven't got time to go for a tour, but we'll go in the shop. Tell me, future boy, who was the president in 1985? <laughs> Ronald Reagan? The, the actor? Where he runs down. Yeah. He's knocking on the shed. Yeah, although isn't the close-up where he's knocking on the shed, isn't that a set? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this is just, this is just actually, just the, this yeah. is all just for exterior shots. Yeah. Hello, I'm here at home. Yes. <laughs> this is just a few minutes down the road from where we were in the park. Well, a few minutes drive anyway. Yeah, we're still in the, we're still in the city of Pasadena. Yeah. The houses around here. Oh, oh my, my God. I mean, this is just one of them, but the yeah. people that live here have got money. Yeah, it's like we, we passed some some mansions, some like <laughs> actual mansions. Okay, well this area is not quite as nice as the last one we were in, but we're going to be here just for a little while uh, because we found Marty's house. Nine three zero three. Mm -hmm. Yep. This is Marty's house. Flies, uh, flies down at the end of the first film. You can sort of recognise the, the tree pattern there, it looks kind of familiar. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, shouldn't hang around here too long. You got a picture? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it, we've done it. We've We've seen all of the places in Back to the Future that we wanted to go and see. Yeah, all in our trusty little car. It's got us around well today. It, even if it has been judging your driving. We are driving around up in the hills. Gonna have to get down to set this to uh, the hills by the weekend. stress-free experience. <laughs> and I'm the one driving. I know. So this is our last stop on today's little road trip <laughs> as we had time. Uh, we've come here to look at the Hollywood sign. This is about as close as you can get and take pictures. Yep, this is Lake Hollywood Park. Yeah, it's a nice, nice little park. Whoa. Hang on, that way. There we go. It's right above your head. <laughs> I mean, we saw it at the Griffith Observatory, but it's, it's a bit. Oh yeah, we're quite a lot closer here, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Are we done now? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I think we're going to take the car back. Yeah, we're yeah, going to be yeah. back a bit earlier than we said, but that's fine. It gives us a bit more time to go back and <sighs> chill for a bit. Maybe I go back. Like maybe yeah. Haven't... Maybe go back and have a drink at the hotel. Yeah. And I just feel like have we a chill. Relaxed a in about three days. Like we just got up, done everything, come back, gone to bed, got up early, done everything, come back, gone to bed. But we always knew that, that the holiday was going to be like this. Yeah, we didn't really build in a rest day, did we? Nope, just hitting it hard. I mean, tomorrow I'd say is a rest day, but it isn't because we've still got to get up early to pack, check out, and then yeah. get the bus down to Santa Monica. Yeah. So, but it's all good. We'll sleep on the plane going home. Yeah, we'll sleep when we're dead, it's fine, whatever. <laughs> Well, that's probably it for today's adventures. Uh, might check in in a bit. Back at the hotel. Otherwise, see you later. So, last night was our last night in LA. And what a great one it was! 
<laughs> so we went to, uh, let's just open these blinds here. There you go, now you can see me. There you go, there you can. Um, yeah, so we went to a, a, a fancy vegan restaurant, like the original vegan restaurant in LA called Crossroads. And uh, while we were there, on the way out, we saw Travis Barker, the drummer from Blink-182, with one of the Kardashians. I'm not going to pretend to know who any of those Courtney. are. Courtney. <laughs> Courtney Kardashian. Courtney Kardashian, his partner. So that was pretty cool. A uh, very nice meal. Very, oh, wow. um... <laughs> Super. Uh, expensive, but, you know, that's like our one big posh meal for the holiday, so... But it was really good. Very nice food. Ho uh, house-made... Pasta. pasta. The sauces were just oh, wow, incredible. <laughs> with a wash down with a nice glass of California wine. Yeah, yeah, it was like, really good. Really nice, yeah. Um, yeah. What else did we do? Oh, we went on the um, the rooftop bar uh, yeah. last night when we got back after we taken the car back to the Enterprise rental garage. Um, yeah, just had a quick drink, had a beer on the rooftop. Got to see the view. Yeah, so that was nice. Uh, so that's it really. We're um, spending a bit of time at the beach today. And so then nice. at some point we've got to go to Anaheim. And we're sort of working out how we're going to get there. But it is another very nice day here it's in LA. It's another day of sun. <laughs> it's another day of sun. Back at the Chinese theatre, we're going to have another look at uh, some of these handprints, prints and signatures. Clip these because one said, says, you made my day. <laughs> <laughs> Original West Side Story. Wow, that's amazing. So many here. Well, surely there must be running out of space. Yeah, we did come here uh, on our first night, but it was getting quite late on our first night, so we didn't have a lot of time here. So what's the go? I'll be back. Do you think he was? That was 1994. Bigger Arnold Schwarzenegger's hands. Yeah. Arnold Schwarzenegger's hands are about the same size as my hands. Live long and prosper. These must be some of the newer ones, like the ones in the middle, quite big. And then as they realise, we need quite a lot of these, and we're running out of space. Now you've got some of them. No. He was wearing trainers. Of course he was. Big old bear's got a dreads in it as well. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> 95. <clears throat> Robert Zemeckis there.
<laughs> We're just about to go and get on the bus down to Santa Monica. Uh, we had to change here in Beverly Hills. Uh, probably the fanciest public toilet I've just ever been in. Very, very nice. And uh, yeah, we've got to go back to the bus stop in a second because we're getting on the bus to the beach. But anyway, welcome to Beverly Hills. Those movie stars, they're all so beautiful and clean. When the house meets rub the floors, they... That was right there, I tried. In between. I want to live a life like that. I want to be just like a king. Take my picture by the pool. Because I'm the next big thing in Beverly Hills. We are just waiting to get some takeouts. We're in Santa Monica now, by the way. Uh, we're at Thai Vegan. It was a little bit of a walk from the pier, but we're just getting some takeouts, take and eat at the beach. So Dan, you've gone for chow mein, and I've gone for pad thai with some soy shrimp. So looking forward to eating that. We are down on the beach here in Santa Monica. Don't want to sit on the, actually on the beach, Dan hates the beach. Um, but we're just eating some Thai, our Thai takeaway that we got. So I've got pad Thai with soy shrimp and Dan's got chow mein with soy chicken. Looks really yummy. It's been wrapped in foil, so it should be nice kind of and warm. How was lunch by the beach? Filling. <laughs> Dan is drinking a La Croix, which I've seen in like films and TV shows. Just a flavoured sparkling water. Yeah, we are walking along the seafront now at Santa Monica, heading down towards the pier. As you can see, it is a beautiful clear day. Thankfully, not as hot here as it is in the centre of Los Angeles. Uh, it's definitely cool by the coast. Yeah. But it's still very sunny. Yep, it is very, very sunny. There is no cloud cover. The, uh, the breeze coming in off the Pacific Ocean is much appreciated. Hopefully, we're going to have enough time just to walk down to the pier, go for a walk along the pier, see so the end of Route 66. And then I think it will be almost uh, time for us to... Yeah. Head back to the bus because we've catch got to bus. catch the bus back to Beverly Hills, and then uh, and then another bus. and then another bus back to Hollywood. <laughs> so it's going to be a a long day today, but at least the travelling on the bus has been lovely. We've uh, yeah, had a little tour guide, a little um, you know in your ear tour thing as we've been driving past all the places. Really interesting, actually. We've passed lots of places that we wouldn't have done if we hadn't have done the tour, like the hotel where Whitney Houston died. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> and, uh, and other such places. Um, yeah, it's been a, been a really interesting morning and just nice just to kind of take it a bit more of a chilled pace after the stress of driving on the LA, LA roads yesterday, going to all of a, the Back to the Future filming locations. Yeah, enjoy those palm trees, because apparently they're dying. Yeah, so that was a really interesting fact that we learned on the uh, yeah, so on the tour were, on the way here on the bus. Some of them are like 70, 80, 90 years old and uh, they're just reaching the end of their life and because of the sort of droughts that are quite common now in California, they're uh, not going to be around for long. The, uh, the woman on the bus, uh, she said, yeah, apparently palm trees obviously are just not native and they're all kind of dying. Well, we're here now on the Santa Monica Pier. Just walked up from the beach. Dan has now got sanded issues. No, they're all right. Okay. Well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> so this is the amusement park. What we really want to find is the end of Route 66. So here it is, apparently. A weird place for a road to end. So, uh, so yeah, if you've done the, the trail, you come here. And then go, well, oh, now what? <laughs> Turn around and go back again. Exactly. Oh, can you smell churros? Yeah. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> there they are, on your right. Mmm, churros. Oh, it's a nice view of the beach. Oh. Oh man, if we had time, I'd love to go and dip my feet in the water, but... Uh, I'm afraid we do not have time. No. Something going on here? 
we start this show, we need an organized crowd, or else we will get a ticket from Santa Monica. Can everybody do us a favor and move up all the way to the cones? It is showtime. Thank you. We need to be going. Yeah. Well, we're finishing up our uh, part of the trip in LA. We just uh, was on the, the tour bus again on the way back to the hotel and unfortunately there wasn't any cover on that bus so we were out in the full sun for at least an hour. Uh, it was really hot so um, we might get a little bit sunburned, possibly. We discovered that we're sunburned later this evening. <laughs> mm. It's alright, got off the sun. Uh, but anyway, yes, so we're, we're leaving LA now, uh, we've got our suitcases packed, we're ready to go, we're just waiting for a, for a lift uh, to Anaheim to start the next part of our trip. Sheraton Hotel in Anaheim, Sheraton Park Hotel uh, in Anaheim and recently refurbished, absolutely beautiful here. Apologies for the slightly shaky footage. Just had to grab my phone. Got a pool over there. Unfortunately, we're not really going to have time to do anything here at the hotel, are we? Is this the glass elevator? Oh, that one. This go. one. Yeah, go, 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 go. <laughs> The woman at the desk recommended the glass elevator for the best view. It's really nice here. Yeah, well, they just just refurbished the hotel, so... She said she'd upgraded us as well. To a full balcony. Mm. So we're going to have a view of the, uh, of the city. Wow. That is a nice view. Pool down there. Here we go. We are in 12, 14. Which is this area. Oh, right here. Yeah. So we're not going to have a park view then, are we? That's think. okay. Oh, this is nice. Ooh. the other camera have a little look <laughs> I don't have my mask off now <laughs> you're right there <laughs> I'm fine oh wow it's so this is the very yeah, lovely looking room bathroom. door and then straight in from the door we've got the oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> got the bathroom and there's so there's all shower gel and stuff that you can use in there towels cups for water it's a nice sink yeah Hair dryer, important. Very important. And then... So we've got a nice big bed, king size bed. This is lush. And we've got a little sofa to sit on. Yeah. And a full balcony. We've got place to stuff, you can stash our suitcases. Oh, we've got chargers on the table. Chargers on the table. Oh, yeah. Um, there's charger sockets in the side of the bed. If you look in the side of the bed, there's USBs. Oh, that's great. And plugs in the side of the bed. Oh, that's as much nicer than the other place. And then, because it's newly refurbished, there's yeah. more plus sockets here. We've got a alarm radio, which cool. has also got USBs. USB <laughs> of course, yeah. Um, and also, you know, what you must have in every American hotel, um, the Holy Bible <laughs> and the Book of Mormon. <laughs> You know, for some light reading but when we get back from Disneyland. Yeah. You don't see that, it's a safe. It's a safe, seems And safe. we've got a coffee Gosh. machine with Starbucks coffee. Nice. And to go cups so that we can make coffee to drink yep. on our way to the park tomorrow, although there is a Starbucks downstairs. I want to tell you what, once we've been to Target and we've got a dinner, we can come here and sit and eat our dinner with a view of the city. That's one of the parking lots for Disney. 
Wow. If we wanted to, we if we like we want to get the bus back at the end of the day, we can get the bus back to that parking lot and then just walk yeah. over the oh, I've taken my hat off, please don't look at my hair. <laughs> oh my god. Right then. You've got to do the bed chest. Okay. So we've got to jump up onto the bed. It's quite a high bed, this will be a challenge, but we've got to do it. Ready? Yeah. Three, Three two, two, one. one. <laughs> Yay! We are just, uh, well, we've checked into our hotel, Which is as, as you saw, and uh, now walking down towards Target because uh, we need to get some supplies, we need to get some little breakfast things and snacks and whatnot. So we're walking along South Harbour Boulevard at the moment. And I, I feel like it's. I feel like we're similar to like International Drive in Orlando. Mm. It's just hotel, um, hotels and restaurants, um, all around. Yeah. And it's thankfully it's just a pretty much a straight down walk for us. And then the on, on the way back we've got to get dinner, so we're going to go to Blaze Pizza, yeah. which does vegan pizzas. Wow, this ice cream place is popular. That's quite the view. Wow. Is it like famous ice cream or? Shh. And here we are, we've made it to Target. Or as uh, the Australians apparently call it, Target. <laughs> so we've just been to Blaze Pizza and we've got some cheesy bread and a pizza and a dan. Eat in the dark. Which we're going to eat in the dark because there is no light out here. But we have a view of the city of Anaheim and the pool. So just like in all of the uh, videos I watch on YouTube, I'm going to do a Target haul. So I couldn't get the popcorn that I wanted, which was like vegan white cheese popcorn, sad times. But we've got this Boom Chicka Pop salted maple kettle corn. I don't know if kettle corn is different to popcorn. I don't know. We'll find out. We got some dark chocolate pretzel, like chocolate bark type thing. Well, it just sounded amazing. Uh, this is not to have here, this is to take home, uh, the Daya mac and cheese. It's like a vegan version of the Kraft mac and cheese, but I'm sure it's infinitely better. Um, we've had this before at a vegan festival and it was amazing. We've got some mango chunks. This is like breakfast and snacky stuff. And then we've got these amazing overnight oats, which sound really good. So we've got coffee coconut and vanilla bean flavour because we're eating breakfast at the hotel a couple of days before going to the parks. We got some bananas, and then I picked up some makeup that I've been wanting to get because it's. Can't eat that. Unfortunately. unfortunately, I can't eat it, but I'll put it on my face and make myself look pretty. But this is cheaper than I can get it at home. So this is the Elf Putty Primer, which I love, and the Milani Luminoso Blush, which I've been wanting to buy for years. And I thought, well, I'm here. It's a lot cheaper than buying it back home. I'm doing it now. It's time to unpack and. Unwind. Unwind. Yeah. Ahead of a early start tomorrow in the morning to go to Disneyland. <laughs> also, Laura cried when she thought about going to Disneyland tomorrow. So All right. I'm adding that to the cry count. Okay. Ding. <laughs> Yes, we're very excited uh, going to Disneyland today. We've got a lot to fit in. As you explore Walt Disney's Magic Kingdom. That ship is garbage. The garbage will do. Pilots, line up behind the tree. Uh, 